Whoa! How did you get out? Without a suit on? Yo, that's illegal, dude. You're going back inside. What the hell, dude? Mad illegal, dude. Actually mad illegal. How did he break out? Nah, man. That was... That was Ren, dude. I mean, Ari. This is Ari. How did he get outside, man? Coming into this freaking slime lung... I mean, the, the zombie spore area, man. The mad dupes. What are they doing? Helium in this game? Yeah, helium. We just, we just chilling with some helium. Hope you're doing well, Dr. Duckling. So, Charismatic. Um, if you hover over the trait Charismatic, Charismatic makes it so that when your dupes chat with the Hermit, there is a chance that the Hermit will trigger the overjoyed reaction of that dupe. So that means that talking to the Hermit is actually pretty pog. Because he might just trigger overjoyed reactions. Those are literally the only benefits of the Hermit. That makes him a little bit different from uh, the other ones. Yeah, but except of hug, uh, but instead of hugging, he's just talking to them. But yeah, he also has ancient knowledge. Yes, he has ancient knowledge as well. So you do get free skill points, but you know it's nothing too special. Frozen friends have that, so you kind of treat him as a glorified frozen friend. To be honest, he just has really high work ethic, suit or no suit. I mean, yeah, it's true. It just sucks though, because he was getting burned. You don't want to be uh, penalized for working hard, right? <laughs> you don't want to be penalized for working hard. He's the dude, pretty much. Oh boy, did Ari get exposed to zombie spores? No. So, no, there's no spores here? Oh, it's right here now. No spores. All right. Ah, so this is dying off. Nice. So the germs are just going to die. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. The best way to exit mid game is to build a sour gas boiler. It's up to you. Uh, we're not going to do that because we have 500 tons of naphtha. So we're going to do a naphtha boiler. That basically becomes sour gas. <laughs> I see you over there, but no, there's different ways to get past it. I don't think we're going to want to do that because it's going to take a long time to build sour gas boiler. We're just going to do it about it a different way. To get stabilized power. We have food storage already. We have oxygen already stabilized. So the moment we get stabilized power that will, you know, allow us to run any amount of stuff, we're good. And all we have to do is start doing research, exploration. Oh, this needs another tile. Come on, dude. Really? That needed another tile. Welcome on in, though, Fractal Nebula. Hope you're doing well. How did he get out without a suit? There's a there's a glitch in the game right now where the dupes can leave without a suit. And a lot of people think it's because they idle at the suit checkpoint. So that when they get a job and they leave at the same time, but there's only one suit left, both of them are allowed to leave. So if they just make it so that the dupes don't idle on the checkpoint, I think it'd be fine. But, you know, who really knows what the issue is? All I know is that the dupes are breaking out, man. Dupes are breaking out. Might need to destroy that infected petroleum. Oh yeah, that's true too. That might suck. On my map, I have enough natural gas vents for 30 constant generators. Nice. That sounds like fun times. Having a lot of power is always nice. Oh no, it's just ex it's just expanding, boys. It's dying off, but it's spreading out. This is not a good sign. <laughs> it's expanding out. Even though it says dying off. I just hope it actually dies off, man. I don't want zombie spores just breaking out. They all be chilling at the suit checkpoint for real. Yeah, man. Constantly getting a trap message when another dupe's item at the apple checkpoint. That happens to me, too. It's a weird glitch. It shouldn't happen. And Clay has to fix it. Zombie spores are back on the menu. Pretty much. Pretty much. Alright, we need to mine this out. We want to bop the spores in there and the spores in here. Those are going to be the next things we're going to want to do. And I think I will go out to here. 
I need to start taking care of this. And so we're going to want to build that. Oh, these ladders are not good. It's the wrong material type. Going to go down here. And then we need to go across. I want to just mine this out. But zombie spores survive in carbon dioxide. So I don't want that to be opened yet. Radiation to the rescue. Maybe. Maybe. There's radiation actually just right here. Can the zombie spores just move over to the radiation and get zapped? I was so proud of making my first natural gas generator setup from a geyser, and then I came here. <laughs> hey, man, dude, be proud. Don't compare yourself to others. That's the easiest way for you to be unhappy. Don't compare yourself, man. I know that it's hard to not compare yourself to someone else that you're watching, but dude, it's, it's tough, man. You, you don't want to compare yourself. It's like, you know, you watch LeBron James play basketball and you're like, I wish I could be that good. <laughs> so you never want to play basketball again because you just watch him play. He's like, man, he's just too good, man. I'll never be like that. And it's like, dude, man, hey, just, just, just do what you do. Don't think about it, man. You'll come into your own. So overwhelming, but I'm learning. Yo, man, if you need help, if you have questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to help. I have a lot of hours in this game, a lot of experience. I'm a walking Wikipedia when it comes to this game. I know a lot about the game as well. So it's up to you if you want the help. But if you do want it, we're, we're happy to help. If not me, there's a lot of people in the community too that are also very well versed with the game and are happy to, uh, you know, answer the questions if you have any. Of course, I want to say not only me, but everyone in chat understands, you know, if you don't want spoilers. So if you want to play the game so that you could have, you know, all the natural goodness and fun that you are supposed to find and uh, kind of explore and play with, dude, go for it. It's just that games shouldn't be frustrating, right? You should never be frustrated at playing a game. So that's where we're here to help. We're going to make the game easier for you if you need the help, if you need the guidance, whatever it is you might need. But yeah, ask away and uh, we got you. A poetic artist giving me the nod. Let's go. I got the poetic artist seal of approval. See, guys, not a lot of streamers have that. The the nod from poetic artists. You gotta you gotta get one of those. If you don't get that, man, are they really legit? But I got the nod, certified legit, baby. Ah, all right. So we're gonna move the suits. Uh. And then this is a little bit, I mean, it's not that bad. And then I think we could build everything else from the inside. It shouldn't be too bad. So let's seal this up. And then we're going to open this up for the suit line. Too legit. Hey, I see both you guys in chat. <laughs> I see both you guys in chat. All right, can we move the seeds out? How come they're not moving the seeds? The, the freaking Paku are just eating up all the seeds, man. Please. Do we not have spaces for mutated seeds? Can you not select mutated seeds on the dispenser or something? How come it says I don't have storage for mutated seeds? That's so weird. Uh, probably will at some point, thank you. Uh, though the time zone is making it so that I'm at bed at this point. But we'll ask, come across the problem. Uh, I can't see this off. I, we've been live for a few hours already. If you're going to sleep now, maybe you catch us when we start. <laughs> if you need the help, but hopefully we'll get to see you again, man. But yeah, I, I feel you with the time zone thing. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I see you with that, man. See, I can't play that though, cause you know, Hammer got the copyright. <laughs> he got Hammer got the copyright, so I can't play that, man. You, you know, we know what it is, man. The Hammer don't play. He's the most gangster of the bunch, man. I can't mess with the hammer. All right, all right. So we're sealing this up. I usually end my day watching Oni streams. Nice, awesome, awesome. Hopefully it'll be our stream. <laughs> of course though, uh, you know, just make sure you have fun. That's, that's all we could really say. All right, so I don't need this. Get rid of that. Did we do the liquid lock? We're doing that now. Uh, we get the tile space here. 
Now, this is a weird hallway, but I think it's going to be kind of useful. I want to keep that here. This is the kitchen. This is going to be the suit line exit. I probably should move the ration box over so we get more suits over here. Another thing I'm thinking about doing is seal 2. So I think we should drop the airfoil tile here so that the seal 2 just kind of exits out to the bottom a little bit better. Poetic guard is calling us old. Feels appropriate, man. <laughs> I see you guys over there. Dude, what's up with the, the mutated seats? Why did it say... Oh! So you do sweep it, but it's red because of the unknown mutation. Oh, I thought this was... Man, I was so confused. I was so confused. I thought it wasn't getting swept because it was highlighted. It is getting swept. It's just that uh, the mutated seed makes the red icon. I was so confused, man. I thought something was broken. All right, so we need to trim this still. This is going to do its thing. Uh, the zombie spores have actually died off pretty well. Oh, the polluted oxygen, though. It's allowing this to be a breeding ground. All right, so we are going to mop this up and mop this up with the idea of capturing the polluted oxygen in one of these bubbles. Just like the steam right here with the zombie spores, we're going to delete it by building a tile on top. Now, hopefully there's no germs here. Yeah, it's clean. Nice, nice. You should change uh, the, the color to purple or something for the mutation. I mean, that's probably feasible. Oh, this is waste. Oh, that's never actually going to... Yeah, so let's empty this because of how the waste interacts. And then this is polluted oxygen. Nice. All right, so what we'll do now is... Let me put a tile here. And what we're going to want to do is hopefully crush the PO2. So build tiles on both sides so that we can build tiles here. That should push the polluted oxygen in the middle. And then we crush that vertically going down. First time grandma in March. Hey, I see you, man. Congrats. It should be a time for celebration for that. Where did Helium come from? I've never seen that in the game before. Uh, greater. Mr. Greater, uh, I will say that Helium exists in the game. It's in the database, but it's one of the elements that we don't play with because Clay decides what we get to play with, right? Amongst those elements, we also have Electra. Uh, helium is a gas. Synthetic gas is another one, right? Synthetic gas. And then we have, uh, you know, elements that don't exist normally. Now, that's because uh, Diachronic gave you the link for it. We're playing on a custom planetoid called the Bator Mod Colony. And it gives you a custom planetoid. You can see that our planet doesn't look normal. This is custom artwork. And then, welcome to the 10 biomes of hell. Yes, someone took Dungeons and Dragons 9 layers of hell and made that into an Oni planet. Now, the 10th layer is basically you always start in a Terra biome. And the normal, really cool biome. So that's the uh, limbo or sanctuary, so to speak, where it's really not that bad. But uh, yes, they took the Dungeons and Dragons nine layers of hell and made it into a map. And that's what we're playing. Hopefully that explains a little bit better of why we have these weird uh, interactions, so to speak. But yeah, hopefully that helps. One, two, three, so I could mine up to here. Go down that way. And then there's a lot of corium. So this is going to leak out nuclear waste, right? Gotcha. Thank you for that. Yeah, check out the mod. It's a fun time if you're an experienced player. But I will say it's very difficult. There's a lot of ways. Oh, man. We put in hot igneous. All right. The wheeze words are going to do the job then. And then we just got, uh, yeah, the mutated seeds. Can we just sweep these? How come no one is sweeping the seeds? Like, I have to manually click on this. I don't get this. How come no one's sweeping the seats? There we go. They did it. Wait, and they walk up and drop. What? Why, dude? There should be no more seats here. Just that. Oh, right here. Six original mulewood seats. I just don't want them by the Paku. 
We should, though. We have infinite storage. All the seeds right here. And then this is a dispenser, so it never fills up. And it should be on the one tile. I don't know why they didn't want to sweep that. This, this should work, though, because we already have a few mutant seeds here. There's no uh, remove mutants from the dispenser bin, either. I want to chalk that up to the glitches, but I really just don't know. <laughs> I really just don't know. All right, so let's seal this up. Seal this up. Yeah, it should work. I just don't know why it's not. That's why it's a weird interaction, I think. All right, we're still pumping up to the reservoirs. A lot of different liquids. Uglarvis. Uglarvis, man, I have some bad news. I have some bad news, buddy. I'm very sorry. There we go. We're going to put that in. And then hopefully crush the zombie spores. Oh, there's zombie spores here. We'll have to do afterwards. That's fine. Uglarvis, man, I have some bad news. So, so, do you remember when you said you want me to do the uh, curried beans? The spicy curry? I actually don't know if we get nosh beans. So, in order to make spicy curry uh, that you wanted me to make, I was fine making it. It's just that we need nosh beans, right? This bean. We don't have a single seed. It doesn't show up. And I don't know if we'll find it in the planet. Yeah, I might only be able to get it from another planet. So I don't know if we'll be able to get it soon. It's going to be have to be like really, really late game. Did I get jebated? We just don't have the beans. So we won't be able to use that as a main food source until we're about to beat the game. That's basically how it's going to play out. What I'm thinking. So we'll have like every dupe have exactly one curried meal because I could make the um, shuffles into the delectables and I'm not really too worried about that. But yeah, I just wanted to say, yo man, I, I'd make it. I just don't have the seeds available right now. I have to find it still. Just wanted to let you know in case you're wondering what's happening with that. Oh yeah, more nuclear waste is coming up. All right, so this is going to fill up with waste. So we're just going to mine this out. Have it get popped. That's going to be good. Now this is done. We can open this up. And then we can make our suit checkpoints over here. This needs to be the sweat. Make that out of... I, was, I made these out of lead. Because I was assuming that it's never going to get hot. And I'm probably correct in that assumption, to be honest. So we'll, we'll have it. It's just going to be a lot later. Feels bad, though. Oh. Oh, yeah. We'll just leave that there. Just seeds. Alright. I need to do the Paku farm next. After the suit checkpoints. This is not that warm. So let's get rid of the... Oh, ha. Huh. I'm scared, because if I drop the wart seed in here, the Pakus are going to eat it. And I would not want to lose a Wheeze wart to Paku. That would suck. <sighs> Alright. Finish the coffee, boys. Good stuff, good stuff. We need to redo the Paku farm. So let's think about the design. I think one thing that benefits us the most about doing a Paku farm is that our layout, the printing pods here, and I decided to do a layer, uh, layer ladder setup like this, where it's pretty close by, double ladder. So I'm thinking we could put a Paku farm in the middle. I think it's gonna be a pretty sizable one. It works out pretty well. And then we could have that be how this works. We're gonna remove the water from here so that we're not gonna have water and have that outside instead, which is gonna be nice. And then I think what we're gonna want is to have uh, the Paku farm somewhere near the bottom or maybe even uh, higher up. But I need to redo it. I also want to start moving out the hatches. Let's get this built. And then... Hatch is going to be sand. Priority 7. This is going to be hatch. 
auto rango 8 out of 8. We're just going to use regular hatches. And then that's going to be the drop off point. Alright, that should be good. And then we just got to move the hatches out. Not bad. This is 7 out of 8. And these are all wild though. And then these are all tame. So I should move from the tame batch to over here. But I feel like I'm going to drop a hatch on the way while moving it. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. Just a hatch. They're not going to eat anything that's going to be uh, too devastating. All right, so that's done. Checkpoint is in, so they can't leave. Temperature is all right. Uh, there are no more fish eggs here. Zero of all fish eggs. Okay. So as of right now, I don't think they're cramping anyway, so it should be fine. So let's remove the dispenser. Let's remove the setup. Let's remove... Oh, there's a pipeline inside. Let's click on deconstruct and go to buildings so we don't mess up. And remove that tile set. And then we're going to replace this with a tile. So if you deconstruct buildings, you don't deconstruct the pipelines that are underneath. So it makes it a little bit more convenient. And then once we do that, we'll mop up the water. And then we'll start setting up our suit docks. Whoa! This is a checkpoint. Oh, what? They're they're entering from here? Oh, no, man. That, that's mad illegal. What are you guys doing? They're just coming into the base. Oh, they're just dropping off their suits. Oh, my God. Grand travesty. <laughs> hey, man, can we get some help? Where you at, Zero Dragon? Because what's happening is they have to go out the other way. And then if they come back here, they're they're missing suits. That's so annoying. All right, so this is no access. How many suits are here? Four. So we'll go over here. One, two, three, and four. Nice. Good, good. So technically, I need to disable this building. And since the door is locked, it shouldn't matter. Actually, no, we don't need to disable it anymore because the door is locked. No. Okay, it's fine. Stations? No, no. Suit dock. And then we use lead here. This is how many? 12. That's decent. That's decent. These guys are uh, flopping now. We're just going to release them. They could go to the water tank with the rest of the... Re what rest of the uh, fishies. Mop up the pea water. All right, we'll let that get built. This is going to be openable as well. So back to uh, building tiles. And then I think we're going to move the uh, water seat right here. It's for the bathrooms. Relocate that. Okay, so I need to start doing the water filtration system as well. So let's get a water pipeline. This is just going to be a regular pipeline. Nothing too crazy. Uh, let's go left to right. So let's start with NAPTA. Oh, no, it needs to go left to right. That means I go from this way. Yeah, it's fine. So this is going to connect, and then it's going to go down to here, and then go out this way. It has to, I think. And then how we want to do this. Oh, no, I'm so stupid. Ah, oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't build the pipelines yet, and I'm sealing up the airflow tiles. Oh, my God. <laughs> zero IQ plays, boys. Zero IQ plays. You hate to see this kind of thing happen, man. You really do. All right, so that goes there. We could build a pipeline elsewhere. It's not going to really matter too much. And flow out of there. This is going to automatically self-pressurize when it floods itself. That's just going to be the play style. Wait a second. Uh, 1,000. Hold up. NAPTA only stacks up to 700. Same thing with oil, right? All right, so for oil, we're going to have to have a pressure sensor. Oh, that ruins my design. No. Dude, yeah, that ruins my design. No. <laughs> Because the, the liquid vent is just going to keep releasing and it's going to spill out. Oh, dude, I didn't realize that. 
I don't have space to put a sensor here. Wow. I did not realize that. That's actually very... Oh, no! Not the pumps. No. All right. Put the pumps back. Put the sensor above the vents. So the ladders are going to get removed here, right? That's going to make the dupes have to jump. I think what I would rather do is move the uh, vent down a tile and then put the center above the vents. So we're going to take your idea, Diachronic, add one layer. Yeah, because we could do this. And then the liquid still gets there. Now, of course, how many liquids have that property? Petroleum does that as well. That's very inconvenient. So petroleum, naphtha, crude oil. Is there any other liquid that doesn't hit a thousand? It's just those three, right? Polluted water, brine, salt water, all go over to a thousand or at least to a thousand. Yeah, I think it's just those three. So if we add, we know how long is this? Is 19. Is 16. This is 19. That's 22. Oh, no, it's from uh, here. So technic te technic technically, we get three right here. Petroleum, crude oil, and naphtha. And then polluted water, water, salt water, brine. And then X water. I don't know what this is going to be for. Because we know we're going to move this down. Uh, where does the oxygen come from? Or where does steam come from? Alright. We want to do this. And then we want to crush the polluted oxygen with the zombie spores on it. Because it's, it's allowing the zombie spores to survive. So I need to move the steam turbine set down. Which shouldn't be too bad. We just need to start mining this out. And then... Ah, we would have to do a weird design. Are we working on liquid storage? Yeah. We're separating and filtering out all the liquids and making it so that we could pitcher pump it. I want to have the convenience of being able to pitcher pump everything while still having infinite storage. So technically, we could move petroleum, crude oil, and naphtha to these three, and these could be preemptive filling. Maybe that's what we do for now? There's just a lot of naphtha that we're going to have to separate. It's setting up to be clean. Yeah, pretty much. I want to have that nice design. That sucks, man. <laughs> that sucks. I was really hoping that this worked out. So if we want to put a liquid element sensor somewhere... Or a hydro sensor somewhere. There's no space here. If we extend this out the other way, does that make a difference? I don't want to rebuild everything. But I think we have to. Now nah, we just modify the three on the left side, I think. But that means I can't filter out my... I mean, I don't have petroleum in here, so I guess it's fine. But it would be crude oil and naphtha. I would have to add in. Okay, so we'll, we'll work on this first. How much of this is crude oil or naphtha? None of it, actually. There's no naphtha or crude oil in any of these right now. So maybe we'll just get started with this. Have the uh, different liquids, and then we'll move out the other stuff. How about use a space where the air flows are diagonally from the vents? Liquid over vent sensor, for that matter, above the pump even.
how about use the space where the airfoils are diagonal? But that doesn't help this one, though. So, so we need the sensor for this vent, not this one. I should also put a sensor here, too. Right? So it's, it's a little bit weird. Because I need it for this vent. This one doesn't need one. So put the vent here. Put the liquid sensor where the vent currently is. And then place the vent wherever you want. Oh, I see what you're saying. Drip it from the top. I see. And then just use that as a sensor spot. I see what you guys are saying. Oh. I guess that does work, yeah. Chili dog included. You don't mind eating chili dogs? I'm kind of jealous. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Okay, I see you guys. I see you guys. Let me modify the camera for Mamba. So we could move the vent up. I guess that's not a bad idea. So I need this line clean. Because of how the liquids are going to filter out. What are you building today? We're making a water filter. We're making a water filter, baby. Alright, let's sweep that. Uh, optimally, I don't want to have... I want to have good walking speed. So I, I want to keep the tiles here. The idea of putting this up here is a pretty good one, though. Yeah, I think the mesh over the sensor is probably going to be the play. Like, replacing this with a mesh tile. Yeah, that's the thing. I wouldn't want the mesh sensor. At that point. Because it'd be the same thing as if I'm just doing a jumping animation. The only other thing is if we extend out the left side, one tile. Right? But, you know, if I move this, there's a vent next to it here. I guess I just have to modify it slightly. You really can't extend it out horizontally. I can. It's just that I have spacing from the left side already using this pattern. But I couldn't build it because my steam turbine was in the way. <laughs> that, that, was, that was the reason why. I was like, okay. We have a pattern. We have a design. It's a repeating pattern, right? So it's going to have to be a little bit off. You know what we could do? Have two layers. No, I don't want to do that. I just want all in one layer. Yeah, not unless they demolish it, yeah. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, though. For the sake of cleanliness. Alright, so this goes up, though. We know that. We gotta put that in. The four water types, and then maybe ethanol. And then we have oil, petroleum, crude oil. And then that should be all the liquids we have. Nuclear waste goes into here. There's no other liquid I could think of. The sulfur is going to become sulfur gas. Or solid sulfur. And then we don't have to worry about helium. Liquid O2, liquid H2 are never going to be openly pumped. Yeah. Potentially ethanol then. 
Yeah, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. The only thing is because of how I'm filtering out all the liquids, my pipeline is there, so I can't put the vent here. I could, actually. It's just a little bit odd. Hey, we did it! We got the first planet. Geodes, decent light value. Barren, forest, ocean, radioactive, metallic, tundra. Swamp, rust, marsh, magma. That's not bad. Radioactive here as well. All the geysers in the world, too. Alright, I think we're gonna do vent mesh tile. I think we just have to do that. That's the only thing that's going to save me from going insane. <laughs> that's literally the only thing that's going to save me from going insane. And I think it should be fine. All right. So from here, let's remove this. We are not going to need the ladders here anymore. Let's get this done power is in, the pipeline is somewhat in, and then let's start designing the filter. So we need to have shutoffs. Uh, I want it to line up, but you know, it is what it is. Here, 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 here. And then we're going to need one for here, of course. And then for the water filtration, you know what? I want to line it up. Thug life. <laughs> I want to line it up, man. Let me seal it up. Two separate layers. Are the other planetoids modified? I actually don't know. I haven't been to another planet. We have one discovered here, but I haven't gone to it. It's only the surface. So I, I don't know. I'm scared. I don't want to send someone into a new planet to find out that it is modified and we lose. Oh, they're just normal planets. They're not Bator modified. Feels bad. Feels bad. I hate to see that kind of thing happen. Alright, so we're going to need oxygen here. Good news is, is that we have oxygen line already. And we kept it there, so it's not too bad. And dude, why are my icons different sized? This is larger than this one. This makes no sense. That's so weird. <laughs> That's honestly so weird. Why is it like that? Alright, either way, we gotta build this out, get the power line in, connect the power, of course. We'll have to find something to connect to. Uh, it's probably gonna be this line. That's already there, because uh, we just take the same line. This one goes into the aqua tuner and nothing else. Maybe we could take that line straight up and then use this for power inside the base. That could be pretty lucrative. Keep the deodorizer right there, why not? And then, yeah, just have that there connected. We'll be able to go into the door soon. We should disable the building for now, I guess, so that we can build these pipelines. Scaly1, what's good? Hope you're doing well. How are you? Hello, hello. Happy Thursdays. Although maybe they changed it in the past few months. I was playing on a classic start, and you're in Space Out Start, which could change it up a bit. Yeah, I'm, maybe it does. I'm not sure, though. If I had to guess, it would be, uh... If I had to guess, it would be, uh... You know... Normal. But you might be right. Maybe it is modified slightly. Alright, that's good. And I should actually get a hydro sensor inside. Get the pump automation in. Make this foolproof. What are you making? A uh, water filter. Our, uh, how does that work? How? What's the meme? Uh, we're making a water filter for tobacco use only. Yes. <laughs> we're making a water filter for tobacco use only. Yes. That's the meme, right? I think that's the mean. I 
I don't know if we'll have enough ethanol, but we'll have that pumped in anyways. Water, polluted water, salt water, brine, ethanol, uh, petroleum, oh, crude oil, petroleum, naphtha. Or we keep this for another element that's non-ethanol that we find. I mean, we can't store magma in there. I just don't know what else we'll put. Oh, we have liquid mercury? Hold up, when does this liquefy? Minus 38? Oh, crap. Yeah, this is going to be for liquid mercury. I guess. I didn't know we had liquid mercury here. <laughs> All right, we might find some other elements below us that we haven't seen yet, I think. I'm looking at that liquid mercury right there. Feels bad, man. All right, we'll do that, though. Should be fine. Got to build everything else out. Water is pumping in. Once that... Oh, no, there's water in the pipelines already? Oh, my God. This is what we call a grand travesty. Okay, so what we need to do here, sadly, is we got to loop it back in. It needs to go into a reservoir. So we got to cut the pipe. Let this empty out. We have to empty out the rest of this pipe so the filter actually works. All right, that's good. So loop back in, please. What? Are you serious? Ah, uh, they need me to put a pump somewhere. All right, so once the pump's there, everything's going to start moving to the uh, left. 100%. Such a weird design, man. Oh, wait, this is empty. How much space is in here? 2,000? Maybe we could use that as a false pump. There we go. Now it starts moving. It's really weird. I don't know why it requires that, but it does. So once all the water moves out, we can cut the pipes. Gotta wait, gotta wait. Tomba Twitch, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. And that's good. We could cut this now. And then we could connect the pipes. Alright. Now we have to connect this. Good stuff, good stuff. Going further in the deep. Not sure there would be other liquids that would stay liquid at water temps. As it just seems to be getting hotter. I mean, the mercury right here. Makes me think that they might be adding in other elements in the game that have a weird uh, evaporation point that might be okay at low temps as well because this freezes at negative temps. So it's, you know, it's no no worse than uh, water in that regard. Once it goes negative, it freezes. So this is actually able to be stored here if we cool it down just enough. And that's what I'm thinking. You have to, you know, prepare for that, right? If you get another element that you're not familiar with. A uh, green signal, if it's above, let's go with 300. Apply that to everybody. Okay, so let's start sealing this up. So put that here. Power, pipes, everything should be good. Everything should be good. And we're not pumping up the naphtha yet. All right, they're working on that. Uh, we are telescoping, so everything's good. We have open space here. Uh, we need to do the material stud terminal next. So we need to start continuing to mine everything here. And then we'll mine this out, mine that out. We need to work our way down. This is gone. This is gone. This door is here and it's ready. So that means I should be able to mine this out for the water to spill. Good stuff, good stuff. And all the CO2 is moved, right? So actually, I can put a tile here. I mean, I guess we don't need to have the gas leak out. I could seal this all up, but I don't think we need to. The gas is getting destroyed. Not that it matters, though. Oh, yeah, and then the compost are able to be removed. Uh, This is priority 5. I guess I could just stay priority 5 as well. Should I actually try to seal this so that the gas stops leaving? I guess eventually we will, but right now I don't think it's necessary. We do need to start moving the ice, though. That's another thing. So, we're going to want a dispenser. We're going to move it to the left. 
dispense all the ice. And then, of course, we're going to have to mine as much of it as we can. Because we're going to have to go up from here in order to expand the power box. So, let's get a ladder in place. Just so that we could uh, have travel still. Of course, this means this is mined out. This is trimmed as well. And then hop, skip, and a jump. Get all this out. Same thing on the side. We could climb up as well, so it's not too bad. We'll leave that there in order to sweep. And we probably go a little bit up top. And then there's the naphtha. All right, so I need to get rid of this water right here. Let's mine this out. We'll put a pitcher pump right here. Ah, I can't. Okay, let's deconstruct this as well. Oh, we can't reach. Let's put a ladder there. Let's do some more mud. Oh, a second planetoid. No, that's just the one we already have. Okay, that's fine. Food is going down. Okay. Oh, we need to do pickled meal lice. Even though we don't have that here. Oh, it's because I didn't allow meal lice in the farm anymore. I guess it's fine. Getting uh, Get those wall between the storage before you uh, let the liquid filter going. Or is that going to fill and flood the wrong room across? Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, it's not connected yet, but I, I see it. The power is not actually connected yet either. We got to connect it over here. Got to get the rooms in, though. You're right. Got to get the rooms in. And then we need to select the liquid type. So this is going to be... Let's use water here. Oh, not this gel. Water. This is going to be polluted water. This one's going to be salt water. This one's going to be brine. We don't have ethanol yet, so this one's going to be unselected. And then we'll get the other ones for uh, these three later. Alright, so how is this? Oh, there's still a little bit of steam and whatnot here. That means the germs are... Nah, it's, it's getting bopped. Okay, we could diagonally bop this now. And then we should be able to climb up as well. So where is the steam coming from? What's what's boiling here into water? There's a little bit here, that, and that was from the uh, steam turbines before, but I don't know what the rest of this is doing. Uh, let's get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. And then we need to break into these tiles. So that's going to be here. Ideally. We have to mine all the regolith and stuff. And then we're going to build a tile diagonally right here to delete the uh, zombie spores. And then hopefully we could reach. Yeah, that's reachable. And then we'll delete the other one afterwards. Of course, to delete this one, though, I think we're going to have to build a ladder here. Any mud or polluted mud down there that could be boiling? Ooh. Or polluted... Oh! Clay? Is that clay? 148. Yeah, we could be having cooked uh, organic... Polluted dirt, yeah. We have polluted dirt that's getting cooked. Wait, that cooks into sand. Polluted dirt, yeah. That I mean, it could be off-gassing, I guess. But we shouldn't be getting steam. Because it's not water. Let's look at that again. This is all pea dirt, right? None of this is mud. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any mud down here. Alright, so we have... Oh, we have germs on the zombie, on the petroleum. Oh, rip. And then it's that tile. Alright, so we'll just crush this. This is clean. And there's not too many spores available afterwards. We could mine this out, and then we could try to crush this tile with all the germs on that. And then from here, that got crushed. We could do this, mine that, and then crush this tile like that. And the funny thing is, is that we could bop the seed by diagonally digging. That's going to bop the seed. We rebuild back the tile, and then I could deconstruct this tile and diagonally build in that one. Nice. The petroleum bottle isn't recoverable. Yep, it's a pain, man. It'd be like that sometimes. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Right, we're going to do this to get rid of all the things in here. Yep, that's good. Rebuild that. Rebuild that. 
This is going to crush all 7 million of the zombie spore germs over here. That splits the germs. And then that should be clean. Now we have some more spores to deal with at the bottom. It's only these bubbles. That's actually not bad. So once we mine this out, this means this is clean. I don't have to worry about it anymore. We just mine this out. All right, so that means this is good. This is good. I could ladder straight down, I think. Go through that way. Yep, this is good now. No spores. Clean. That's what we want to see. Let's deconstruct this. Nice, nice, nice. Mine everything, all the things. This is going to get mined as well. Easy does it, boys. Uh, deconstruct these to mine that. Diagonally build this. Let's bop that. Let's let more waste actually fall down. So I do want to mine this out. You give the sporkit seeds to Pakus just in case. Yo, man, but that's how your your Pakus get uh, zombie spores. Nah, they, they actually don't. <laughs> the Pakus are the strongest critters known to man. They can eat zombie spore seeds and be unaffected. That's pretty impressive, man. Just saying. That's pretty impressive. Bop that corner. Get some free wastes. Let's get the ladder connection. Okay. So this is done, right? We have water here. We have all the uh, liquid selected. None of the naphtha spilled in yet. Pipelines are backed up. Oh, no. This is actually uh, cut. That's my fault. That's my fault. Pagus don't give a damn, yep, and Mighty Stooge coming in with the 10 months, too legit to quit. Thank you so much, man, Mr. Mighty Stooge, I see you over there. Enjoy the emotes, the 20 dice ad free viewing, don't forget that legit sub badge. But thank you so much for the support. I see you over there, Mighty Stooge, how are you? How was the Thursdays, man? Hope all is well. Alright, so we're gonna trim this as well, build that out, and... I guess we just release all the helium. I should try to pipe this out or something. I should make a cooling box for it. That That's actually not a bad idea. And then we'll move it out to the uh, storage that we'll want. We need to mine this. Might as well mine as much of that as we can. Two at a time. These tiles aren't going to be needed. Get rid of the snow. Get rid of these two. That one. We make the jump for that. And everything here is mineable from the below. That ladder is fine. Uh, water? This is really weird. Oh, there we go. It froze. There we go. So we trim this. Left side, we don't have to do. This, that. Well, it'd be like that. Going well. Been a busy week, but almost done. Yup, yup. And we got the weekend ahead of us. Good stuff, good stuff. Yo, man. Even if it's busy, hopefully it's, uh, you know, not stressful. Because busy could be good things, right? Good busy, bad busy. Both those things exist. So hopefully it's been a good type of busy, my dude. Give them a pool of mercury to breathe them in? Oh man, I could. I could. <laughs> I very much could. Good busy. Nice, nice. Good stuff, good stuff, man. A balloon artist is going to have a blast. Dude, they should make it so that if a balloon artist finds helium... They uh, start making balloons. That'd be cool. Busy is good for most of the time. Yeah. Makes the time go by fast. 100%. 100%. Alright, so I think we bop. No, we just have to bottle of petroleum. Feels bad. Alright, so let's just get rid of this. And then we'll just mine through everything else. Uh, the next goal is going to be this and that. And then we'll build the tiles there and we'll be good. Hello, what's going on, Hades? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Alright, we'll mine out the other helium because it's not going to really matter too much. Uh, I probably want to mine from the right side. Like, we could mine from the left, but I don't want this to spill. Even though I don't think it's not going to matter that much. Should be okay. So we're just waiting for this to be built. And then we'll get rid of the uh, liquid soon. We need to make suits. I need to make 12 suits. We only have 24 reed fiber. 
that is not good. <laughs> How do I not have that much reed fiber? What's the green liquid? Nuclear waste. Or liquid uranium. We have two green liquids here. Either one of the two. Hey, we got new printables. What do we got? Ooh, fresh gold. I'll take that, man. Now we have 15 tons. I guess it's not bad. Go for the wart seed. We're going to have uh, not as much of these. I'm waiting patiently for Wednesday. 25 tiles. Yo, man. <laughs> the remastered cities. Have fun with that, Hades. Hopefully that lets you build a little bit more. Gives you a little bit more creative freedom. I wonder if they're going to make it based off of your milestones, or will they give it to you from the get-go? Kind of like a modded setup, you know? Like, you could turn on infinite money. What if you could just unlock all 25 tiles from the beginning? Hopefully they do it that way, honestly. Hopefully they do it that way. Alright, so most of the waste here is actually done. Uh, I want to take this waste... I just don't know if it's actually going to... I mean, the mopping is going to be a uh, travesty here. Oh, look at this. The waste from here. Good stuff. Uh, I need a pitcher pump. <laughs> I need all this waste to be pumped out. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, let's make this a higher priority. So that we can start filtering. We'll dig that out slowly. Water pump still happening. We won't have to do this side yet. Dealing with nuclear waste there. Food storage is good. We just need more food. Okay. So the hatch ranch is actually ready. And we should start moving some hatches. So we'll just capture them from the side. Bunch of hatches. And then there is another thing I wanted to do. Right here with the rails, right? So this goes up into the hatch. So these are hatch eggs. Right, so priority one, because you're not going to have to do access. Next one here is going to be going to the kill box. So there's a bridge on, so if this is already filled up, regular hatch eggs go down to here. They bridge together and go into the kill box. And there's already a meat line. Oh, there's no power here. I was going to say we needed a meat line. This is going to be that meat line. So this is going to be edible meat. Priority one, because it's auto sweep only. And then the rail line's already ready. Nice. You get the 16 remaining tiles once you unlock tile number 9. And then you complete purchase all of... Oh, oh, that sucks. I wish they gave you the option to have it from the beginning. Having the creative freedom from the beginning of the game is really nice. Because I play like that. Since I have 81 tiles, I could unlock everything from the beginning. And it's very convenient. Alright, this is going to be the other hatch eggs. Uh, stone hatch, sage hatch. I don't have smooth hatches yet. Should be fine. So we'll just do the two. And then we'll start moving the hatches into here. Eight of them. And then this is priority nine for the brushing. We're feeding them sand. Ooh, that reminds me. Am I still rock crushing? Forever, baby. We still have 900 tons. I can't complain. We need as much sand as we can. All right, this got built. This got built. Nice. So the last one. This one doesn't matter since it's not actually doing anything and we're going to have i'm gonna do this because i don't know how this is gonna work out if we get a liquid that doesn't actually filter out we need a way for it to exhaust so we'll have this go into the reservoir like that just for now if anything we'll have to put another one there is creative mode with infinite money. I just don't want to play it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. You can unlock all tiles at the start. Nice. Having the option is great. That's what I was hoping for. Just having the option. Alright, so since the water pressure or liquid pressure is below 300, this is not going to pump. So we only have the four liquids for now. So I think this is fine. We could get this to a plug-in. Alright, so these filters are working now. Uh, are we ever going to run out of power? No, because we have hydrogen. How much hydrogen is in here now? 200. How much is in here? 147. I guess we could still just siphon off the hydrogen still. Your title is misleading. You're the master at cheesing the game into late. Yo, this guy Taradra feels bad, man. 
it ain't easy being cheesy. That's all I gotta say. It ain't easy being cheesy. Cheeseburgers for everybody. They call me Cheeseburger Eddie. Oh, look at that. Mamba wants a cheeseburger. He heard me passing them out and he woke up. Where'd you go, babies? Mamba loves his cheeseburgers, man. I'm just kidding. He's never had a cheeseburger before. I'm, I'm just not as buff as he is. That's just the reality. Have you seen the Old Spice commercials? You know how there's the Old Spice commercial, Terry Crews, and then they have the other guy? I'm the other guy that's not as buff. <laughs> I'm the other guy that's not as buff. Alright, so this is going to be our filter. By using a shutoff design, we could remove the specific element that we want. And we uh, basically filter them out. Whoa, what is this? This is Napta? Oh, we have Napta, dude. Ah, oh, shit. All right, the Napta goes into here. Why does Napta look white? Hopefully, we have enough storage space. Oh, man. With a different voice. Yeah, with a different voice. 100%. Has a different voice. All right, let me put this here. So that we could... Oh, man, there's the oil that needs to fall down, too. I need to make a, 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 a spillway, actually. Oh, man, because I don't want the oil spilling into the designs. All right, we'll put this here. For the time being. So we don't have to worry that much. 10 tons is probably good enough. And we could also put some napped in here. I just don't want to modify the design. Mamba's gone. He's just getting some snacks. Mamba deserves snacks, too. Mamba deserves snacks, too. Now, we're digging this down, but we don't have space for crude oil yet, so we're just getting ready because we're going to have to do that soon. This is going to be good. I think, yeah, we're ready to do this, so we're going to trim this down. We should be able to climb up and down. This got bopped. Good stuff. So that means the zombie spores got bopped. This is good. Uh, we take the ladder in. And I guess we do mine out the corium. So let's go for this. Let's go for that. I need to mine this tile to get a tile here to crush the uh, zombie sports. Mama deserves all the snacks. Yep. That's why he's getting his snacks. He knows he deserves it. <laughs> I'm thinking about cooling down the helium before storing it. But we might just cool it up at a different spot. All right, so brine, water, holding the naphtha. Hopefully we don't get this chunk spilling in soon. And then we're just filtering out each one of the levels. And then once we have enough water, we'll start having it ready to be pumped. That means we remove this bottle emptier. And I think we have it here instead. This was dripping out anything that I just wanted to move into this pocket, but that's not gonna be necessary anymore should be alright, should be alright. And I might also want to start moving the items from the ledge to the bottom. But we'll just mine up the Corium, take care of business first. Let them do what they need to do. And then once the Helium, maybe we should add some water to the bottom so there's natural separation of steam and Helium. But maybe we need to pump this out. Now of course, in order to actually store that, we need to have uh, gas storage here. Which is where I want it. Gas storage, I wanted it right here. So let's start dealing with this. Some of the ice is melting. It's fine. Classic. Let's get the pitcher pump here. We need to move this anyways. Mine this. Uh, mine that. This. We don't need that. This for this. You construct this tile. We need to mine this from here. I could climb up. One, two, three, four. That's all mineable then. We got to do that. This, this, that. Once we mine that, should be all good. Both of these. And then we need to just deal with the nap though later. Both of these are reachable. Go for that. All right, so now this is going to be sweep only, liquefiable, ice, 
brine ice, crushed ice, polluted ice, snow. No crude oil and no carbon dioxide. So we're gonna go back to here and we're gonna sweep all the liquefiables. That's industrial ingredient, that's the wrong thing. Right here. And we sweep everything from here. We're wanting to do that because if we move all the ice to the side and we build this out, we could deal with the ice later. Because as of right now, we can't deal with it. Carbon dioxide. Oh, we have that here still. 20 grams. I can't be I can't complain about that. Let's move a little bit of the CO2 here as well. Up the priority to a six. Maybe we want another dispenser to speed this up. There's gonna be a lot of ice. It's like 55 tons. This is gonna take a minute for the dupes to move that out. Alright, so we'll let them do that. We don't need to make metal yet. And we need to go for another space mission for more data banks. How much are we at? 33 kilograms. Yeah, we just add a little bit more gas. That is this line. We need to add 66. And then how much bathroom water do we have? Let's add 30 kilograms. Good stuff, good stuff. The water spilled. Good, good. Uh, this is connected, so even if this is a vacuum, it's not a big deal. But we'll spill this back. So we have a seal again. Area complete. Nice. So we scouted as much as we can on our star map. This is working. Can't complain. Maybe we want to make one of these here so that we do a proper telescope. But yeah, it's... it's uh, I don't think that big of a deal. Now, we're not having this on. I don't have to worry about getting zapped. I do want to get that, though. And then I want to probably run a ladder across to make this dig a lot easier. I need to create space for this. I think we need to move this down to here. And then make a proper laboratory. Yeah, okay. So, we get that. We could climb down this way, and then from here we're stuck. So I think what we'll do is we'll ladder here. There's a ladder here, but it's kind of useless. I don't want igneous. Let's get the sedimentary. And then I need to go up and down. This is probably the best spot for it. Let's go like that. If possible. And then once we have that, we'll mine everything else out. Once we mine this, we'll trim this out. And then this. And then uh, this should be clear. Should be good, should be good. All right, so there's a little bit of waste here, a little bit of waste there. There's a good amount right here that I should picture pump. It's weird that I do it like this, but this is the best way to do it. Gotta make space in space. It's the only way to do it. Okay, get this decon. This is all good. Alright, since the zombie spores are gone except for this, I don't have to worry about CO2 leaking out. So I think we mine this out now. I think we mine this out. So we gotta mine this right to left, coming in from this way. Yo, dog, I heard you like space. So we put space in your space. So that you could have space while you're in space. What a strat. All right, speed this up. We got hatches here now. Sweet. Seven out of eight. All right. So these hatches are no longer going to have to be there anymore. And I think we stopped this automation. Because uh, I think these critters are, f you know, we're going to start moving the hatch wrench to here instead. I think that's what makes the most sense. So let's deconstruct this. Let's deconstruct this. And let's deconstruct this. Auto sweeper. The power on this side is going to get removed. There we go. The rail stuff as well. Loader. And then the chute. I don't think we have the sweetos here either. I think we're just going to use this as bedroom space. And when... Uh, we take out some of the gas, like the synthetic gas. And we're going to add this as part of the living space. I think that's going to be pretty good. Oh, the suit line's almost done. 
We have the vacuum lock. Uh, all we need here is a little bit of juice. And that's actually pretty good. Have that a part of the line. The aqua tuner is the only thing on this line. So it shouldn't be too bad. We could also reroute the aqua tuner to make the pipeline look a little bit better. Have this come in from the side instead of on the outside. And it just goes in right there. Now, let's reroute the power. I mean, the, the suits. Alright, so this right here is going to be uh, pumped in from this side. And then I will have this pump it in here. Because we still need to get oxygen here. There's a little bit on the top side. This is going to be temporary setups. Once this is okay, we're going to lock the door here. Which is going to require me to put this there. And then we have to fix this as well. So the water pipeline is the issue. Ah, the overflow. So I need to move the sieve first before we actually do anything. Temporary sieve right here. I mean, I need to make the, the change. So intake, outtake, this is probably the best spot. And then let's just hold on to the water with a reservoir. This is temporary, so it should be fine. And then, yeah, we could hold five tons. This is a good buffer. And then we remove everything here. And then we just don't have an overflow for a little bit. We'll be okay, though. We have water from elsewhere. Not bad, not bad. All the water is almost there. Coal. 350 tons. I probably don't need this. We have food now. Maybe we take a dupe. I do want to go up to 24. Oh, this guy farts. Feels bad. Take the seeds. <laughs> that, guy is, that guy likes to rip fat ones, so I can pass all that. All the sandy shells hanging out. I know, man. Closet stinky. It'd be like that sometimes. So we're trying to redo how the uh, brine water here is, and we're going to pump it into here instead. So we have to fill this out, of course, and then it's going to be these two tiles. Liquid here, and then gas here, doors here. And then by doing that, I think we have an easier time. And then that allows me to do this. And then we have a proper sized room here now. So my hermit, when he joined the colony, he was a fart. Sadly, I learned that a little bit too late to reload. Oh yeah, feels bad, man. That's the worst thing. And if you get a flatulent hermit, that's, that's actually the worst thing possible, man. That sucks. Oh, this is ready. So all we need here is a little bit of juice. Uh, we'll just use the same power line. And then let's move the uh, oxygen diffusers. We're not going to need these anymore. Once we get that connected, we're going to be set. Now this should be fine. That shouldn't hurt anybody. And then once we get the power line, we disconnect the left side. So how is this? Almost polluted water, brine water, no salt water, huh? Nap does barely filled in. It's starting to spread out though. Oh, look at that seal too. I guess there was a lot. All right, this helps me out because if the the napta, I mean the napta, if the seal two is all at the bottom, only the top is going to be helium. So that's going to be a little bit easier for me to have the gas separate and make like a uh, wall where everything underneath is going to be a uh, different gas. That's actually not bad. I could deal with that. We just got to wait for the helium here to separate, which might be waiting for us to just mine this out. Of course, we have to sweep this side as well. Uh, let's just continue mining this out on the right. Easy setup. We'll have to sweep this soon.
there we go infinite storage nice so then this is gas and then we have water pressure here good stuff no look at that we get free water look at that so we are able to pitcher pump from here now good stuff good stuff so the upside is is that what we're going to want to do is we're going to not have enable auto bottle but then we're going to release all the liquid here so that we pump it up that means that we will never have an infinite loop with the pitcher pump looping to here and then we get all the liquid in uh pitcher pump availability so it becomes kind of sweet for us at least that's what i'm trying to do all right we'll wait for this uh yeah we just, just gotta wait for that to be dug out we need to have the pitcher pump for the other area waiting for that the waste here is getting moved i guess we could try to deal with the heat here but i want to deal with the uh nuclear waste first i like that design i smell a new vault <laughs> I see you over there, Mighty Stoosh. I see you over there, man. You said free water, infinite? Uh, infinite pressure. Infinite pressure. That's what this is. Now, it's not free water. We're just taking all the water that we have accumulated, and we're just sorting it out. That's all it really is. Just sorting out the water tank. Okay, so far so good. The water is sorted out. We're mining this out. A uh, little bit of iron. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's glass. Oh, dude. All right, can we sweep everything here? Make this look kind of nice. Ah, I uh, didn't change my bins yet. So, raw mineral. And then filtration medium. This is sweep only, so we could just do that. That should be good. Carbon dioxide will move. That's not coming in, right? Like someone's breathing and it just floats inside. Alright, so one, two. We need to start building this. At least up to here. And then we're going to expand this, of course. And then once we pitcher pump all the water, we'll be able to be uh, a little bit okay. Is your polluted water by your pitcher pump going to be off-gassing, or you cap it with a dribble of other water? Ooh. That's another thing. This is just going to have to off-gas. Uh, what we could do instead is try to pressurize the room so that it can't off-gas. That's the only thing that's possible. Because the problem with having a layer of water up top is that... They might just grab that instead of grabbing it from here. <laughs> so it doesn't work for a pitcher pump design, sadly. Right? Because they could just grab water instead of polluted water from this pump. And then that ruins the uh, layer up top. I would just have to pressurize the room, I think. Here, babies. I hear you. You're all right. You're all right. My mambas. I hear you, babies. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Everything's going to be all right, babies. Y'all hear the Mamba man? He is being very needy right now. Ah, uh, no, I hear you. You're going to be fine, babies. No, baby, no head rubs yet. You have to wait till after stream. There's a mod that adds a sealed pump to the game. Oh, a sealed pitcher pump? So this is tiles? That's actually pretty nice to have. Yeah, this is what I was hoping for. Liquid overvent pressure, and then we have a small layer up top. And then we uh, don't get soggy feet. Wow, do I not have salt water? I was hoping to have salt water. I guess we don't have that much. You're not stuck, right? No, you're just idle. Cool. We're trying to get more oxygen in the suits. This is backed up already. That means this is charged up. We have a door here to prevent access soon to the swap suits. All right, all right. But it costs more materials to build, so it's kind of balanced. Kind of balanced. 
I need a balance. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I see you. All right, we could change this now. We're going to change this. And then once this is done, it's finished with the uh, polluted water. We get to deconstruct everything. Let's get rid of that. This reservoir is no longer needed. We could remove the pipeline. Nice. Finally gone. And then we remove this. And then we just wait for the water to leave. Little bit of polluted dirt. Oh, they're using regolith as a filter. Come on, man. And actually, we have regoliths below uh, below space. I forgot about that. All right. So the water just getting added in. And then once this empties out, we can remove the pipeline. And then the sieve and reservoir need to be deconstructed. Not bad. So all we're waiting for is the O2 line here. Which, honestly, I could probably just have it uh, do its thing. Just have the oxygen here like that. Auto save lag. All right, and then let's remove this pipeline. All right, so from here, we're going to deny access so the doors are locked. And then from here, we're going to enable the building. And this is going to be vacancy only. This is very important if you guys build Atmos suits. Vacancy only means if the suit docks don't have an empty slot, they can't come back this way. Because if they do have an empty slot, you just dock the suit. That makes it so that if you have two entrances, you don't get everyone dropping off the suit at the checkpoint and just going back inside. And then no one's able to leave because no one's actually charging the suits up with oxygen. So a lot of the times you want to keep it on vacancy only, if possible. So that's actually what's recommended. All right, so after we do that, this open vacancy only. A little bit of oxygen in the middle, but it should be fine. We're going to need to open the door. And they're going to be able to go through this way now. Let's deconstruct the bottom empty ears. I hate that that's not default. Yeah, it's honestly, man. Like, that should be default. That makes the most sense. It's kind of weird that it's not. So the suits are okay. This is going to get removed. And then we're going to do something here. All right. So buildings again. We'll remove that because we need to do a vacuum here. It's a weird design. Should be fine. So we're going to go into here. We're going to have to sweep that. We're going to move a pitcher pump inside. This is going to be a iron pitcher pump because this is brine water. Right? Ice cold. We're not going to have to worry about that. And then we're going to do a weird design here that we're going to have to go in through this side for that to work. Let's remove this. And then the water is going to have to get spilled out. All right. So I need two gases here. Oh, and I do have two gases here. That's amazing. <laughs> That's actually pretty convenient. We have hydrogen right here. Uh, so it's going to be an airflow tile on this tile. And then we have to have a liquid right here. All right, I'm going to put this here. Just cuts. Actually, airflow. Yeah, these are supposed to be airflow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get a ladder here so we can remove some of the other ladders. Oh, wait. I almost deconstructed the pipe. And what do I need to do? Oh, it's these two. Ah, I get it now. Okay. And then we do this. I mean, I, I guess that doesn't have to be airflow. Tile, tile. And then we do that. I see, I see. And then we do everything else from the outside. Okay. So let's build these first. And then we could transfer the storage so that we get a better sized room. All right. So we'll let them do that. Water's fine. Helium separated. Okay, cool. Now, even though that's separated, we still have some helium down here. So I should try to uh, let this go up top as well. Or we could just cool that uh, cool that down as well. Now, from here, though, I think we do want to mine this. 
And then there are zombie spore plant here, but there's no more germs. Ah, see, the problem is, though, it's going to be because there's CO2. That's going to let this start growing again. That's going to let that start growing it. So we have to go underneath. What do you mean? And then bop the plant from upside down. <laughs> I'm enjoying the mod. I am. I am. We're going to play this again on max difficulty. Uh, not immediately after we play it, but in the future. That's what I want to do. I want to play this on max difficulty. That's going to be the idea. So max difficulty, double calorie consumption, uh, double stress, radio, uh, radioactivity is a little bit more dangerous. So that's going to mean that this is actually going to be life-threatening. <laughs> this is going to be life-threatening. 2,000 rads. Like, just walking by, I'm going to get sick. So that's going to be, uh, I think, pretty good. Because it's going to be more deadly, more dangerous in that regard. All right, going to mine that out next. Mighty Stoosh with the panic. I, I, I think it's going to be fun, though. I think it'll be fun. I like the challenge. I think it's going to be a good time. All right, so they're still a little bit behind with some of the suits, but having more suits is nice. Uh, let's take this, copy it over, and then we could deconstruct this and then build out more suits. So we'll get two more over here. We got the airflow here, which is pretty sweet. We have a hatch breaking into the inside. I don't know what he's doing, but, you know, he could hang out. He could hang out. Can't complain about that. All right, so if someone's bored, we'll do a priority four. Brine, uh, water, salt water, polluted water. We have, that's what we have storage for. So we have extra. They're not doing anything. They could just drip the water here, so we just pump it in. That way we clean up some of the bottles on the ground. I hate having the debris everywhere. All right, so we're still digging this out. After they're done, we can go for the next step. All right, so this is great. We got the ice cold ice box that we have right here. So right here we have, this is so funny. There's a there's neutronium here, and you know what that means? There's a geyser back here. <laughs> so we built our food storage on top of a chlorine geyser because it was in the way. I was like, oh man, that kind of sucks. But then it kind of lined up for the room spacing. I was like, you know what? Let's use that as a ceiling. Either way though, it's kind of funny because the chlorine vent is still at 99 degrees even though it's entombed at minus 70 degree ice that's actually kind of funny and then this is our ice box this is how we're freezing our food and then we have the cold food right here it keeps deep freeze to our atmosphere no rotting and it's pretty nice pretty nice oh p dirt hydrogen what how this get inside that's illegal oh it's coming in from here that's kind of funny all right, so we build that, we build this. We need this to be a max priority setup. And after we do that, we're going to want to uh, release a little bit of brine over here. Next thing we're going to need is coming in from the top. We'll probably do it from here. The deodorizer is no longer going to be needed. So let's get rid of this. This mesh tile as well. And then this insulated tile. After we do that, we're going to want to build a vent on this tile, I guess. Which means I will want the pipeline like that. Everything will be fine, though, once we get to that point. Let's speed this up. No one is on space, right? I don't want anyone starving. We have enough water, though, doing another trip, so I think we should do it. Uh, the guy's going to be sleeping, so as soon as he wakes up, we'll go outside. Let's get data banks. I'm sorry, Linden. We're going to send him to get some more data banks. Oh, meteor shower is happening. Never mind. We have to wait a minute for that. Uh... Free iron? I can't say no. I have way too much water. Our meteor shower is happening. We wait for that to go past, and then we'll go do some data banks. We have to remember that it's on a, a minute setup. Oh, this is a. This is actually not working. It's on the. It's on the bad line. This is the line that feeds back into the system. There we go. Gotta keep mining, boys. Let's go, let's go. Alright, so the spork gets gone. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Everything here is just gonna be dug out. So from the bottom out, we could just do this. 
So let's mine that from the top. Mine this from there. From the left side, we could do this. That's the right side. I am getting confused, my left and rights. And then the last thing we need is to have... Whoa, 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 whoa. Zandroff? You got into this room. Zandroff. Look at this stinky dude. He's teleported past the check suits. Every time, dude. Stinky, what are you doing? Get out of there, man. Zandroff taking damage for no reason. You gotta stop that, Zandroff. Hopefully no one's cramped. Yeah, we're gonna have to take care of the Paku suit. Alright, so we can do this now. You have to come in from the right. And then we do this. And then we need a bin here. Oh, look at Ramble, dude. Digging like a champ. Digging like... Oh, he fell down. Alright, so this is going to be sweep only. Uh, Alright, who's inside? We're going to lock him in. You guys are locked now. I'm sorry. Alright, so this is sweep only everything. And then we're just going to click on everything that we want to sweep. And move to this tile. So they're just going to do that. Once we move all these items out, we're going to let them out. <laughs> Dupes in hell. I know, man, basically. Feels bad. Now, we have a dupe inside the rocket. Is the meteor shower over? Come on, man. All right, man. We'll let him out. He's been inside for half a day. Meteor shower is still happening. Move the items, boys. Move the items. They want to leave. They really want to leave. Alright, we'll let them leave. Let's cancel the sweeps. I can't keep them in there for too long. <laughs> I just wanted to move the items off the ledge. So that when we run the steam turbine, they get cooled down as well. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is probably this. We need to set up a uh, top perimeter. Uh, let's just do not the middle. Let's do the left and right side first. The logic is being that, uh, we want the helium to separate. And then once it's separated, we should only have CO2 at the bottom. In which case, we could just, like, start moving the nuclear waste, start moving the petroleum, and crush the CO2. Or even just have the steam on top of that. I don't think it's really going to be bothering us. But that's going to happen soon. Yo, man, we did it for the efficiencies. We did it for the efficiencies. I hear you, mama. You're all right. You're all right. We need you to nap, babies. We're still strewing for a while. Okay, so filters are working great. Infinite pressure. Can't complain. Uh, this is about done. So this is going to be brine water. This is going to be released. Ooh, mama's back on the bed. So the idea is we do this. We cut the line because we don't want that connect yet. And then from here, where do we want the water to come out from? So probably here, here. And then we go with like that. Wait a second. Wait, the water is not going to be there long term. Ah, uh, we go down. That does work. We could go down. And then it's just this pipeline. I don't want to go up because there's that pipeline. But I think we could go down. But the cooling loop is there. Can we change that loop? We could also lower it. I don't think we could lower it. Or we could run a heat exchange.
Hmm, the exposed pipes is not going to be a big deal, because the inside's pretty temperate. The cold water, though, going down and going left, coming out that way, makes a lot of sense. I hate how that aligns, though. Alright, so we don't need that much. We just need enough to get a layer here, so that the hydrogen can't move. And then that means when we deconstruct this tile next, we'll wait for that. We should get another gas, hopefully. If not, we could just get some oxygen out there, I think. Like, we could build an airflow tile on here to allow the oxygen to uh, release. Can I reach this? I can't. Nice. Okay, so we could deconstruct this now. So if I don't go that way... I guess this pipeline is doesn't have to go through the walls. Because this is feeding into the electrolyzer. So I think I, we just go straight up. Probably. Now the thing with this is that this room is going to be compromised because this sticks out. So we might have this relocated so that we could go as far as the left as we can and still have a room type. Have a small room right there. Alright, so we're not pumping this out to anywhere. We're just trying to have a pipeline there. And then double tile of hydrogen. So by having airflow here, oxygen comes out. And then the hydrogen shouldn't be able to leave because it's a light gas. It should float up. And then we'd be able to have the extra flow lock. There we go. That's oxygen. And then we just deconstruct this. And then infinite pressure as a result. Nice. So then we just sweep this tile, sweep that tile. Uh, this is done. We could sweep from the outside, so it's pretty clean. Oh, and they could leave this way. Oh, shit. They could leave this way without suits. Oh, man. Climb up, climb up, climb up. I got to make sure they don't do that. Please, no one break free. Okay, Kun Nails, please help me out. I gotta micromanage the dupes. Alright, it's spilling both ways. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Double liquid pressure spill. We gotta put a tile there next. Let's go, Nails. No one broke out. Let's go. Okay, so now we need an insulated tile on the side. And then we will have to connect this so it drips back in after that's done. Oh, power. Ha. I guess we will do this from the outside then. We could do here, 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 here. And then we'll just have that. Oh, we can't. Ah. Because, uh, yeah, I can't reach that. All right, so let's do these two deconstructs. So that we can still walk inside. They can't leave through this. There we go, there we go. Yeah, they couldn't leave, they couldn't leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought they could. I was like, yeah, dude, they just break out. Oh yeah, this door is locked. You guys are right. You guys are right. I had that wrong. It was only one towel hide. There was no way they could have escaped. Yeah, you guys are right. You guys are right. I had that wrong. My bad. My bad. Yo, man, it gets it gets us every time. Actually, I don't want this because the water is going to spill out before I could finish the uh, power line. I'm going to lower this to one priority so that the game is less laggy. We could also remove this now. And this is cold energy pulls down the uh, base. It's not a big deal, though. Alright, so how is this? Uh... Okay, so... We need someone to start sweeping this again. But I don't want that to turn on. I need to sweep these items. You know what I just realized? This is allowing sporket seeds. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to sweep sporket seeds, man. That's probably not a good idea. Everything else is about right. Yep, copy paste. <laughs> Orchid seeds getting swept out of here, man. Not the business. Not the business. The helium is separated now, so we're good. We could actually continue this. And then steam in this tile is fine. I think it's going to be this tile that I'm going to do the automation setup. 
And then from here, we just need to have some dupes inside to sweep some of these items down. Once we do that, great. No germs. We could sweep this then. Ah, I can't sweep that. I want to sweep that. We can have that outside. It's only 300 grams. So that when I build a tile there, it's on top of it. All right, we build this out. The separation of gases is already good. All we got to do now is move out some of these items. And then... Who can we set? Oh, dude, we didn't send the guy out for the space. And there's another meteor shower? Or has it not stopped? Dude, how long has this meteor shower been going on, dude? Doors are locked. I just want to get some data banks. Ah, and then we have this. Did we move all the ice? Ah, we don't have a spot for the cold bleach stone anymore. I guess we could do this. And then if all the ice is there, I think that means we're good. This ice I'm fine with. Alright, so it's one, two, hydrogen. One, one, two. One, two, three, four. Tile space. One, two, three, four. Tile space. And then one, two, three, four. Tile space. But I can't do that. So I have to go up higher. One, two, three, four. Tile space. Ah, uh, so that's going to be where I have to pull this out at. Oh, wait, no igneous. I got to not do igneous. Sedimentary rock. Bleach stone will be moved out to here soon. And it should be good. The cold oxygen is not going to bother us. As long as we get the perimeter in and all the items that off gas swept out, I think it will be fine. And then we could actually open this up to the power box. And then we'll get uh, a lot more power this way. Not only will we have power, but we're going to use the power control station. A lot more efficient. All right, just got to wait for the dupes to sweep. Build off some tiles here. And then we'll also upgrade the transformers. Get some more. All right, we'll let them do that. Power is good here. Let's actually sweep this. Let's get the airflow in. Uh, this should be swept too, in all honesty. This is kind of dirty right here. All right, so now once we sweep these, get the airflow in, we'll start dripping this out. And then we'll seal this back up. Maybe I might want to make this a vacuum. I guess we'll wait before we do that. But I kind of want to make that into a vacuum. All right, so this is no longer needed. Let's get rid of this. These suits are off anyways. We're going to be using this as the entrance. I'm going to extend this right here. Put a tile. And have the suits extend out a little bit further. And then we did move this. Get the extra spots. Let's get the power. Let's get the gas. And then we'll cut the line. Because this is no longer going to connect. And then this is also gone. This is also gone. This pipeline is actually dead. All right, let's remove that entirely. And then we need to separate this so that connects this to here. And pump out all the other suits. Got to keep the suit forge inside. I might move this into the kitchen. What do we need in the kitchen? Oh, I don't have a fridge. Oh, I don't have the spice grinder as well. Sadly, though, I wish the kitchen increased it, your uh, cooking speed. Because cooking speed in this is kind of kind of, kind of, of a problem, right? Cooking speed on the grill is slow. I just wish the, the kitchen room bonus added uh, cooking speed, similarly to how the laboratory adds in uh, research speed. Guys, is it laboratory or laboratory? 
Is there a proper way to actually uh, say that word? Asking for future reference. Like, if I were to make a video and I say laboratory a lot or laboratory, is there a correct enunciation? It's laboratory. God damn it, Diachronic. No, it's laboratory. Didn't help, man. Didn't help. Depends how British you are. <laughs> what if so? So, which version is the British version? First one is the way I've always said it. It's English. Nothing is correct. So it's a laboratory. So I call it laboratory because of Dexter's Laboratory. Right? As a kid, used to watch a lot of Dexter's Lab, and since we say lab, we say laboratory. Right? That's how I got that. Do you give dupes light when they cook? There's a shine bug in here. So it depends on how how friendly the shine bug is feeling. So I'm trying to trap shine bugs in my kitchen and in my great hall so they eat faster and so that they cook faster. But, you know, it's kind of RNG with how they move. That's the American way of saying it. Laboratory. <laughs> The one that takes longer to say is always the British one. <laughs> it's because you guys are, uh, you know, have a roundabout of a way of doing things, right? Seems legit. Seems legit. Laboratory America, we pronounce it similar to lavatory. I see you, I see. So laboratory is the British version, huh? From what chat's telling me? I believe you guys. The lavatory. Ah, yes. Dexter's laboratory was a restroom. Oh, dude. Is that, like, conspiracy theory? Actually, what that is? He doesn't have a lab. He just has a private bathroom. And he's just imagining all the crazy stuff. So he doesn't have, like, the super lab, super stuff. He's just playing in his bathroom. Because the word laboratory and lavatory are very similar in how they say it. Dude, conspiracy theories. Did I just figure something out that I wasn't supposed to? Guys, people of chat. <laughs> that, that, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense, man. It kind of makes sense. All right, I'll probably want to put a buffer here. And then use the same signal. And then this comes from here. And then we'll put that in last. Cleaning your bathroom is as good as the chemistry set. Yo, and your parents are going to be happy. You get the double entendre. Classic. Alright, so we're going to start moving all the water in so that we could uh, line this part up. It's getting that haircut, lining up that part of your fade so it looks nice and clean. That's basically what we're doing right now. So, no power yet. It's fine. We'll move that out later. Pipeline in. Don't need to move the oxygen. Ooh, we'll probably just release this. Empty that out in the uh, area. And we're still continuously pumping. Can't complain then. Going through the water, and then we'll start converting that into water. Oh, we have dupes in here? Alright, so it's time to lock them in. Sweep only. Start sweeping, boys. If you guys are bored, I need you guys to sweep. If you guys are just going to build, that's cool too. No one's sweeping, dude. All the builders are in chat. Yeah, they're complaining about the heat. It is going to get toasty inside. Alright, let's cancel that. Looks like they're uh, doing too much anyways. Let's let them out. Let's let them out. Let them do their thing. We'll have that. We're going to make a door crusher setup right here. Door crusher setup is to get rid of the CO2 down there. And we'll start filling it up with steam from the steam turbines. And then we'll cool down the area below. 
So we want to move the items in because they're holding the majority of the heat in the area anyways. The moment we remove the CO2 and the helium, it's going to cool down, and we just have to worry about the hot abyssal light, which normally doesn't have to be worried about. Fine for your dupes to be toasty if they're in suits. They have nothing to complain about. Yeah, it's true. It's not that bad. As long as the suits don't melt. That's really it. As long as the suits don't melt, we'll be fine. I want to start deodorizing this, man. There's just no power. I guess we do have power. Let's go for that. All right, all right, so this is ready. We'll let this do its thing. This is gonna act as an AC as we're gonna be able to cool it down this way. At least uh, part of the base is gonna get really cold. We're not growing food anymore, so it's not really a big deal. We also have the Dreco we need to remove. And then these hatches as well. All right, so this is at seven out of eight. Let's move these guys finally, they're tame. And then we got the Menagerie we gotta keep there. Hey Squared, what's good? How are you? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Happy Thursdays. Yep. If the suit melts. Yeah, man. What when is the suit still made out of dirt? Atmo suits? Is that still a thing? Oh no, they're made out of whatever it is they're made out of now. Okay, cool. Someone made a mess. Oh my god. You got bopped by mud. What a way to lose. It got bopped by mud, boys. You hate to see it. Imagine losing to mud, of all things. The game just said, yeah, man. Yep, that's mud. It's in your way. You can't go through it, man. It feels bad. Make a mud pies for punishment? No, man. No one wants to eat dirt again, dude. That was a bad time when that happened. Mush bars are not going to be back on the menu. <laughs> Mush bars are not going to be on the menu. Mud could be quite dangerous. I believe that. I believe that. Oh, I need to turn on the polluted dirt sweep that we had back up here. Just so that we get rid of it. So this is insulated. Uh, we'll sweep the rest of this. Base is looking pretty good though. Can't complain. Yeah, we're almost ready to have this part of the box. Alright, so we go for this, and let's mine that. And then we could seal it in and come in from the uh, the power room right here. So this is warm, but then it's going to be uh, hitting the very cold oxygen, even though it's low mass. So hopefully it's not a big deal. And I never made a pump for this to exit yet, which is fine. Let's do more mud. Well, we can. All right, let him do its thing. Oh, I didn't notice. Mom was not in the camera. Mamba, dude, he's moping. He's by the edge of the bed because he's like, legit didn't give me head rubs. Looking like a sad kitty cat. The saddest of kitty cats, man. He's cozy, though. He is. Alright, so the last thing we need is that. And then we could start doing this again. Uh, we will want to take the automation here. Cut these off. Oh, we deleted. No. <coughs> oh, I choked on water. Choke the master life. I'm okay, guys. I'm okay. <sighs> Holy heck. Just don't make aluminum suits. Got you. Got you. 660 melting point. It's not that great. Iron's the way to go. Don't die on stream. I know, right? That's TOS. <laughs> That's totally TOS. 100% right. Uh, 
Okay, so new suits. It's not bad. This is priority nine. The low priority water drip too. The polluted water will be moved. Filters are still working. All right. Cool, cool. Bathroom is not filled yet. Oh, I can remove the pipeline now. Nice. I think you make them out of iron, copper, cobalt, and DLC too. Oh yeah, cobalt. That's the new one. Cobalt. DLC exclusive. Iron's definitely the way to go. Most of the time, yeah. Iron's just nice, man. One more tile. We're almost done. Let's actually not seal this up. We want to sweep this if we can. And then we can keep the ice here. I don't think this is going to be a big deal. And then all we would have to do is start clearing out some uh, space. Probably add some oxygen into here. Hey, too legit. Here's a challenge for you. Tell me the first exploit advice that comes to your mind. What could help a man like me who is not new, however, not very skilled at the game? Uh, you, you, I would like for you to choose a category. <laughs> there's, there's so many different ways to exploit things in the game that it, it depends on the category. And also, if there's any exploits you already know, you know, I would probably want to know about that as well. Gotta mind this. Technically, it's here. And then up top, I mean, I could mine this from here. Up top is a little bit different. All right, we'll do it like that. And then from this side, because it's all regolith, we'll just mine it down like that. Dude. Centra, man. The meteor shower just ended. So you know what? We'll go to space right now. Meteor shower just ended. According to the space scanners. So let's go, let's go. Gotta send my uh, dupe out to space, get some data banks. Infinite water tank or gas? Ooh, okay. So, uh, Grandpa's, I see you over there. The Randor, uh, if you can give me a category of what type of exploit you're looking for. Because it's like, I don't know what's 